Anyone you know who knows me or has watched any YouTube videos that I've done knows that I practice comprehensive prolotherapy. It means that uh, you, the whole joint's going to get treated. When someone has a meniscal tear, sometimes the MRI will just show that there's a meniscal tear, you know, and there isn't anything else wrong. But I can guarantee you there's lots of other stuff wrong. All you have to do is poke on the outside of the knee and realize that there's a lot of tender areas. Now, come on, if the meniscus tear is inside the joint, why would the outside of the knee uh, be tender? And then when you rotate the knee, when you move the knee, the injured knee compared to the other knee, it rotates more. You know, so it means that the person had a meniscal tear, they also had an injury of the medial collateral ligament, they have some medial knee instability. So you have to treat, you know, the whole knee. If your knee's moving too much medially, it's going to be moving too much laterally, and really all the ligaments are stretched out. So that's all that comprehensive prolotherapy means is that you have some knee instability and we're going to treat all the ligaments and we're going to obviously treat the meniscus. Why they're having trouble proving that PRP by itself works is because they inject PRP into the knee joint and they don't treat the ligaments because they're thinking that the only problem that the person has is the meniscal tear. And it can't happen. You can't just injure the meniscus. It's literally impossible with a soccer injury or falling down the stairs to just injure the meniscus. It doesn't make any sense. To injure the meniscus, you, you know, you have, to, you, have to, you have to have an injury where it turns. So just by that, to tear the meniscus, you have to tear other things. So all I try to tell people is you got to get those other things treated. If you get those other things treated, you still could do PRP with the meniscus, but you got to do some kind of prolotherapy, whether it's with PRP, bone marrow, or dextrose, or some other proliferant, but you have to treat all the ligaments, you have to get comprehensive prolotherapy, then the condition resolves, and often the condition resolves for good, so the person's cured.